okay i am finally doing it i'm finally filming this video like it's been a long way coming but yeah i'm finally doing it like i don't know why it took me this long to film this i also think it's because of life you know the things that we've gone through during um the pandemic if you liked um what i'll be discussing today go ahead to like um comment subscribe and share with people who you think would be um benef or would benefit from this because i'm excited to to do this um journey so if you are just joining my name is kuth i am a model actress as well as a businesswoman and um I, there's so many things that I feel like I do that I encompass that is not just uh, me just being a professional in one field, but also uh, who I am, basically where I come from, the things that I stand for, my beliefs. Um, to get real and honest, I think that during the pandemic, I was just not ready to share my life. Um, I had also gone through so much that had happened to me um, in terms of my personal life as well as my professional life. And so it was just not a period to be sharing. Um, because I'm a private person, I think that it just took long for me to just start that. Um, and now I feel like I'm in a different stage of my life. I'm in a different, especially uh, the things that I enjoy doing. Like I'm also, I give my time to talk about refugee issues and um, issues of women in Africa. And so to me, because that is something that I've chosen to do out of the kindness of my own heart, and I have a series of questions, so it's, it doesn't seem like it's all over the place because with me, I can tell a story for hours. Like I will start somewhere, tell three or four stories in between, and then finish off the story. So I'm keeping myself accountable, and I wrote down what I need to talk about and just where to start. Um, I am an Aries. I don't know if that... I'm an Aries. I don't know if that counts for anything. Uh, <laughs> But um, that is my sign in case if anybody is wondering. I'm originally from South Sudan. My parents are South Sudanese. Um, used to be Sudan, now South Sudan. Uh, it's the newest country in the world. And I was born in Ethiopia. So I was born and raised there. And um, during the early childhood, uh, we then immigrated to America, to Minnesota as refugees. And so since that time, um, I've navigated most of my world in the Midwest and then eventually moved to LA for work, uh, for acting, and then eventually modeling. Uh, growing up was weird growing up in Minnesota, of course, because obviously we lived in a homogeneously white society, um, but also there was a lot of uh, Sudanese families where I was from. And so I had the privilege um, to grow up as a Sudanese person, speaking my language, being around family, being around other Sudanese people, as well as being American. Um, and it was, I would say, at first, hard to navigate. But let's get out of the scope of trauma. Of course, we can talk about that for hours. Um, but I, I felt like it, it was a very interesting identity to be to things, but also not completely anything at all, because I don't feel completely American and I don't feel completely um, Sudanese or Ethiopian at that, because all these things have their own um, issues at that, where I am ethnically Sudanese, I speak my language, I'm culturally Sudanese, but also me going back home is a different story because I'm also seen as a foreigner, which I am here. So I guess, People can make what they want of that, but it's definitely something that has been a journey for me to accept those identities and live in them. And also to be in a place where I'm like, there's nothing really, there's not, I only take the good things out of, out of all of them. And so I'm very fortunate to have that type of mindset. And I see that. Um, so that's something I'm really grateful for. Uh, in terms of work, I am a model. I'm also an actress. And um, both of those things I feel like go hand in hand in a way. Uh, one just has more investment and the other one is more immediate. And so with modeling, it's very quick. Uh, it's a day to day, whereas acting takes a lot more investment and time to prepare something, to prepare an audition. Usually um, 
takes okay uh, takes days which I'll go into detail about in other videos because I think that um, I always get a lot of questions about modeling and acting so it depends on sorry I'm like right next to the window so you'll definitely be hearing noises uh, depends on who is asking and I really like being able to share that part of my life because I always get a lot of questions about it and I know that I can be a private person but there are certain things of course that I dearly hold private like my private my personal life and um, just issues that I don't feel like are for everybody but when it comes to work I'm, I'm totally open to share because I think that um, there's a lot to be gained in transparency and also being uh, a very melanated person in Hollywood as well as in the modeling industry. It's a very particular um, place to be and it's a very, it's a different story um, within the context of just me being in my own world, in my own community. It's completely different and then when I step into this world, uh, it's also different as well and there are different, um, I'll say I get different treat treatments based on where I am um, and what I'm doing. So this channel, I hope to use it for, obviously for sharing my story, as well as, you know, giving advice if anybody thinks that what I've said is useful. Um, I, I just love to now be in a place where I can just be open and, and share with people certain things that I feel like is a community thing, because this is a community. Um, YouTube is a community, and I hope to at least open my audience and branch it out and not just only for social media, but also I hope to start doing the things that I love um, within the modeling and the acting as well as my humanitarian work and just being a businesswoman. I love, I'm at a place where I want to network now. So <laughs> before it was just like, I didn't know how. I think a lot of this is a, is a journey. Um, you're not just born being um, like doing, the, learning the things that you know now. I think a lot of it is, learning things from people, learning things just from the journey, as well as over the years, I've learned to be a better speaker because um, I do also do public speaking as well. So being able to practice will definitely put me in a better place because then I know how to structure things and not just ramble, ramble on like I can. Um, yeah, so I would love to share tips. Ugh, man. I'd love to share tips on acting and um, the other thing is also my lifestyle. I'm a very, I feel like I lead a very healthy lifestyle in terms of food and diet. Um, I work out a lot. So I wanna be able to you know, share that aspect of it. Also get some new um, ideas, especially for workouts. Um, Cause it's not only just one thing that you do. It's like every day I try to change things up. I take classes as well. I just joined this beautiful gym that I wanna start utilizing um, for daily workouts and things like that. Uh, there is also um, mental health. I've come a long way in terms of my mental health um, because I've also faced a lot of things. I've gone through grief, I've gone through sorrow, loss, um, different things. Obviously, you know, we all go through breakups and things like that. But also, um, a lot has happened in the last so many years. So just like sharing those ideas, um, I've really, really have learned to uh, trust myself and learning to manifest because before I thought that there were just certain things happening in my life because I wanted them to happen, but also I've been manifesting this life since I was a child. But then now that I am more in intentional about what I manifest and just who I want to surround myself with and learning about the different ways of doing it and different ways of um, just meditating has been really helpful because I've been practicing mindfulness since I was in college. So it's been about seven years now that I've been practicing it. And it's really helped me to really just focus as well as to, to be in stillness and helps a lot with my peace of mind. Um, and I've came from just like meditating for five minutes to now like 10, 20 minutes, but that takes time. That's a journey. And I've also seen how even the way that I act, my temperament, um, how I carry myself has changed dramatically since I was, I guess I would say I was 20. And so because of that, I've, I've seen this journey, even people that know me would be like, oh my gosh, like that's a new you. And I'm so happy about that. So that aspect I will share. Um, 
And then I guess just wrapping up, uh, I do feel like I'm in a new phase of my life. I feel like I'm in the soft life part of my life. Um, I'm in the, you know, the cute bougie auntie part of my life. And I just want to enjoy this. I think that the journey that I've had, there's been obviously, uh, what are those called? Peaks and valleys. And, you know, obviously there are certain things that we should take serious, but it's time to have fun. It's time to enjoy life. And, um, and I'm just happy that I'm here. Uh, I think that there's going to be a lot, obviously, for us to discuss and um, a lot to share as well. And I'm so happy that I'm finally doing this because I've been thinking about it for years. And then I started two videos in 2020 and just stopped throughout the whole time. And I was like, well, it's not fair. It's not fair to myself, not only um, for that, because I want to explore other parts of me. And I think that the more you talk to yourself and the more you learn about, um, you go back and re recollect and also think about the new things you want to bring in, it's so much learning to be done. And I'm the kind of person where I have an open mind. Um, I'm not someone who obviously is going to be, you know, so, I mean, there are certain things that you should obviously shield yourself from, but I think when it comes to learning, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm totally here for it. So I'm excited and I'm so happy to have you guys joining me on this journey and I say thank you for coming along with me and we'll see where it goes.